Well, the recent women's conference in Salina is likely still claiming major significance to many area women. Author and speaker Robin Dykstra used her personal stories of her life to encourage and uplift others. She's the author of a brand new book, and the widow wore pink. Jennifer has more on today's OIO in the community. I could not imagine what I was going to find coming to the Mount Tabor Church of God Get Real Women's Conference. I knew Robin Dykstra was the keynote speaker, but I had no idea what I was in for in hearing her incredible story. She is the author of The Widow Wore Pink, A True Story of Life After Loss and the Transforming Power of a Loving God. Robin, first of all, thank you for coming to our part of Ohio, and thank you for being transparent with your story. My pleasure. I enjoy speaking to women, and it's just a delight to be here. Thank you, Jennifer. Now, to put your story in a nutshell, it's so hard to wrap it into a couple minutes. You've been married four times. The average person might go, what? whoa. <laughs> You've been a Playboy bunny. Another, whoa. whoa. But the story is wrapped in the love of Jesus Christ. The message of forgiveness is just incredible. What led you to the point where you knew God needed to use your story to reach women? You know, I just couldn't believe that he would let me go through as much as I had and then just let me sit on it. So I had started teaching Bible studies and leading little mops groups, groups for moms. And when I would share part of my story, the transformation in women, the freedom that they experienced to share their own stories and be transparent and let Jesus affect them. It was so powerful. I thought, oh boy, if I could get a chance to do this in more often and in front of more people, that would be fantastic. Well, you have been speaking for several years. She travels all across the country, but the book just came out in September. So it's very recent, very new. Why the book now? Why at this point? Well, it was really important for me to tell the truth. It was important for me to honor the dead. And it was important for me not to horrify my children. So I waited until I felt like I could write that story authentically and not hedge anything. The temptation would be to hide some of the less flattering parts of my life. But then you leave out um, important pieces that other people can relate to that women really need to hear to know that if God could save me or give me freedom or redeem me, that he could redeem them regardless of what their circumstances were. Transparency is definitely something that resonates with people as we have all, not any one of us can say that our life has been perfect or without difficulty or without regret in some way. As you are being transparent, how are you seeing women's lives being changed? Oh my goodness, Jesus is moving in ways that I couldn't even imagine, just setting them free from addictions and infidelities and even lies that we have gotten in our head that we just feel like we need to live with, that we just, we're so far in we can't get out, or, or habits that we just have decided to live with, or even um, pain and suffering that we just think, oh, that's just part of my life, that's just who I'm supposed to be, and it's just such a lie. If you could speak briefly to the women at home who are watching right now, who are saying, you know, that's great for you, Robin. It worked for you. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad. But for me, my life's this whole. This is where I am. What can you tell them? Yeah, it's never too late. That's, that's what I want women to know, that it's never too late. And Jesus is enough. And if you just give him a chance, he would do for you what he would do for me. Well, the book, again, is called The Widow Wore Pink, A True Story of Life After Loss and the Transforming Power of a Loving God. I've only had it in my hands for about a couple hours. I've already started reading it. The stories are gra will grip you, grab you in, and you will want to read more. I encourage you to get your own copy. Go to her website, which you see right here on the screen, on the screen and check out Robin Dykstra if she's going to be in your area. Definitely, definitely worth going to one of her events.